If you're a content creator or you would like to become a successful content creator on social media or on YouTube, you probably already know that being consistent on those social media platforms is absolutely crucial. But if you have tried to post consistently, you might also have run into the issue that you're running out of ideas and you just don't know what to make content about. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I personally am using AI ChatGPT to get the best ideas somehow possible. So without any further ado, let's get started. And what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, welcome. My name is Jewel, and I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. On this channel, we talk about making better videos using our smartphone. We're also sharing with you how you can become a content creator, how you can monetize your content creation skills. So, in case that's interesting for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, as apparently over 90% of all people watching these videos are not subscribed. So, thank you very much. So if you're not living in a cave, you have probably already noticed that more or less everything is getting AI. Whether you're you know, driving a new car or you're doing something online, you're getting confrontated with AI all over the place, basically. And, you know, some people say it's super bad. Some people say it's the best thing ever. Nevertheless, what you think about it, um, today I'm just going to show you how you can use ChatGPT. And I'm just using the free version. We do also have the paid version. But, you know, for the examples that I'm going to give you today, the free version is going to be completely fine. I'm just going to show you a couple of tips and tricks on how you can get the best content ideas possible. So the problem with ChatGPT and how most people are using it is that they are just doing something like this. Give me 10 content ideas around content creation, for example. And that's fine. You know, like if you're doing that, you can see you're getting um, like 10 content ideas super fast and they also do not sound like super bad. But the problem with these super generic prompts is that you're also getting generic and basic and, you know, more or less boring content ideas. So the idea with ChatGPT and how you're getting the best results somehow possible is that you're giving it more information. The more information you're feeding into the AI, the more, you know, you, you tell also your personal spirit and, you know, all that kind of stuff, the better results you're going to get. And I've just created a bunch of prompts for you guys that, by the way, you can also download below this video. Um, you can basically just download this cheat sheet where you're also getting, you know, all of the prompts and you can just copy them into ChatGPT for yourself but I'm just going to show you right now like how I personally am using it and how I'm getting like much more tailored results for me personally all right so I'm just going to create a new chat right here and I'm just going to paste in the prompt that you can also um, download down below and basically what it does is you are an expert content marketing specialist that specializes in niche so in in that part right here this is where you should put in your specific niche that you're in if you're in photography just put in photography if you're in videography put that in. But if you're also in, I don't know, painting or in whatever it might be, architecture, just put that in right here. So what I'm going to put in right here is you're an expert content marketing that specializes in the area of content creation. I do focus on the money making aspect of content creation creation, not so much the technical side. So as you can see, just giving it already a lot more information compared to how we did it before. And then, you know, also one key thing that's different with this prompt is I'm not just saying like, give me 10 ideas. But what I'm doing afterwards is I want you to tell me 10 desires, 10 problems and 10 fears that my target audience experiences related to that topic. And again, these are just placeholders that you should put in, you know, with your specific niche right here. So what we're going to do is 10 problems. 10 desires and 10 fears that my target audience that fears that aspiring content creators experience related to that topic. Yeah, I think we don't even need that. So that's it. And then also something that's also very crucial right here is I'm also giving it the prompts that it should structure the answer in a table because then it's just a lot more, you know, easy to read. So let's see what we're getting right here. So as you can see, I'm getting the table. I have the desires, the problems and the fears. So what we have here, achieving financial financial independence, like that's definitely a desire that many people have. What's the problem? Inconsistent income streams. Yes. And the fear is um, a fear of financial instability. Absolutely. I completely agree. Build a large and engaged audience, difficulty in growing audiences. So as you can see, just with this tiny tweak of tweaking the prompt right here, I already have 30 content ideas that I could address each individually and create content around that. And that could be along from YouTube video, that could be a LinkedIn, you know, posting thread that could be a long form YouTube video, whatever it might be. And that's just very, very good. You could also go ahead right now and 
tell ChatGPT that you really like number seven. So let's just say I really like number seven. Create a couple of create a couple of headlines for a YouTube video around that topic. Sure, here are a couple of headlines. How to turn your passion into profit, a step-by-step -step guide. What I'm missing here is the content creation side of things, monetize your passion, top tips for aspiring content creators, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, within just a couple of minutes, I have 10 content ideas around one topic that I could just address in different ways, shapes, and forms. Something that I also personally really like to do is to go the route down with asking ChatGPT to give me a like problems, pain, points that people have in that specific niche that they're in and then also offer solutions for that pain point because you know people can just relate to pain points very well and they want us to have a solution for those pain points and if you bring those two together having pains that are really painful for people so for example if you are an aspiring content creator and you would like to turn that into your full-time job and you want to you know quit the job that you're in right now and you want to work with brands travel the world have a studio like we do like this is a pain that you have and you want to have like a path towards you know getting that desired outcome and if you can create content around that like we're doing basically right here that's probably going to be very valuable for your audience so this is just my very quick overview over how I personally am using ChatGPT to get some ideas. Like I'm not taking anything that ChatGPT is giving me out like for granted and taking that word for word, but just to getting some ideas and, you know, sparking an idea in my mind, like for that kind of work, this is absolutely awesome. And it's just super fast and super easy and anyone can do that. And if you're just giving it a little more information and also if you're also sharing more information about yourself, about your business, about your background, you can get even even more tailored results for you personally. And then in the end, just the results are going to be so much better compared to just giving it a very super engineering prompt. As I've said at the beginning of this video, below this video, you can find a free link to download a ChatGPT cheat sheet that we have created for content creators. You can download it down below so you don't have to type up everything. And there are a couple more tips and tricks as well in there. In case you have not subscribed already, make sure to do so. If you would like to become a full-time content creator, you might also want to check out our free content creator foundations course and in case you have not seen the video where i'm showing you step by step how to shoot cinematic videos using just your smartphone then check out this video over there